This year, I went to the Sacramento Anime Convention, and let me tell you, it was fun. Now, there were so many things to do in such a short period of time. Otaku and I, we arrived early Friday morning to get to our lovely room with lots of plans in store. So we are getting ready to go to the convention. It is going to be an interesting day because this is our first time being VIP. So we're really excited about that. And we also have, oh, we have an interesting view. And then you can see all the way down there is where the convention's gonna be. On our first day, Otaku and I first decided to scout out the area. So this is a totally different setup than what, than what we're used to. Um, normally there are shops and things like that. This, okay, so this is the gaming room apparently. There's an amazing shop down there, which is great, the Zelda shop. Hey, your store's over there. Stores? Yeah, the store, the Zelda store. store. Oh, okay. It's right there. Also. Uh -huh. You can see like the little potions. At Sack Anime, the first thing you see when you walk in the building are all of the vendors. But first things first, as we're walking to all of the VAs, we have a lovely otaku zoom in. And here is a little bit of an idea what to expect for all of the vendors. There are Pokemon cards, there are pins, there are stickers, there is so much merch from shirts to masks to pop dolls. You name it, they got it. And also, I will be on the hunt for not only Miku stuff, like this stand here, but also I'm on a lookout for my favorite store. I believe it's called Wheat Loaf. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's right here. Oh, it's my favorite store. <laughs> Wheat Loaves is one of my favorite, if not the best store to go visit because they make some of the cutest items. They also decided to make Silver Wolf, which, spoiler alert, I bought. They have Nuvolet, Mr. Punchy, and Farina. No Navia yet. And if you're curious on the items I bought from the convention, that will be at the end of this video. So be sure to stick around. There's some really cute stuff. And also a very large purchase. <laughs> what VIP means is that VIPs have their own line and then general admission has their own section. So normally what tends to happen is that VIPs get their signatures first for the most part and then general admission has to wait quite a bit longer so for us being vips for the first time this was actually really nice I honestly think I might get Jingyu, even though I don't play Honkai, or maybe just a classic like Amalie, I'm not sure. We will see. So we were able to get her signature and a couple other little goodies along the way, and thus concluded the first day of Friday. Good morning. So this morning, Otaku and I have a couple of things planned. Now, first off, we're gonna go get some breakfast. But yesterday, while we were wandering around the booths, there was a gentleman who came up from his and said, hey, are you interested in an exhibitor's pass? And we said, yeah, that, that's awesome. He's like, I'm just giving it away. My daughter already has her stuff. And so I've just been trying to gift this out. And it's like, okay, sure. What that means is all of the people who have those booths have the exhibitor's pass and they are able to get in super early into the convention. So we're gonna see if we can do that. However, today is going to be a super busy day. We're not only gonna go try and have some breakfast, but we also need to try and get ready to meet up with some of our friends later today. 
and do lots of shopping. I'm hoping we can get Sabat's signature today. If you don't know, that's the VA for Vegeta in Dragon Ball. And basically, we are just, we're just gonna be doing lots of shopping. So we're gonna go get ready and I'll see you later. So off we go. Saturday is the busiest day at this convention. Oh, and let me tell you, it does get very, very overwhelming. This is a comparison from Friday, and here is Saturday. We are literally shoulder to shoulder with everybody, but we were able to meet up with some of our really good friends. As you can see, there are so many items and pins. It's so crowded. But I did find a Chi Chi pin. So that's good. We also ran in to some other friends. Hiromu is one of our besties and creates all of these lovely stickers. I absolutely love this blue haired girl. This is his mascot basically. And all of his characters are based on tarot cards and astrology. I absolutely love it. Hiromu, why didn't I know this before? But I will list their link down in the description box below if you wanna go shop for some of his t-shirts, hoodies, and stickers. And honestly, his quality for his shirts are really, really nice. So I highly recommend it if you're looking for a super durable but fun anime shirt. Later that night on Saturday, we met up with a group of friends and we went to basically a bar and an arcade made for adults. And boy, let me tell you, it is so much fun. We were able to meet up with a lot of new people from a Facebook group. We all had so much fun at this convention and thus concluded my SAC anime convention. I did promise you I would show you all of the little goodies and the big purchase I made, which made me go broke, <laughs> uh, here at the end of this video. Well, hello there. So these are all of the items that I got from SAC anime. I'm gonna start off with some stickers and pins. So first things first, if you don't know, I am a huge fan of Nier Automata, specifically 2B, and they had an adorable peeker, and I'm really picky when it comes to stickers, I don't know about you guys, but basically I thought this art was so cute that I had to get this little peeker here. I don't know where I'm gonna put her, I am thinking about putting her on my car, but again, I'm not 100%. So here's also another 2B, don't worry, it's not gonna be a 2B video, but I thought it was so pretty. I actually have another one of these for her, but I'm gonna put this one in my journal for my birthday month. She's so pretty. One thing I did notice when we were shopping is that last convention stickers were eight dollars like these these were eight dollars everything now is ten dollars so the price is going up and i think it's getting a little ridiculous this is from the k-pop group and of like league of legends characters kda i forget the name of this one but i recognized her immediately so whenever i go to a convention my mission is to find something chi chi related and i was super lucky i was able to find this adorable chi chi pin look at her she's an enamel pin which is really nice but I just thought she was so, so cute. And it has little rubber backing so it doesn't hurt or ruin your purse with pins and things like that. And I just couldn't help but get another, <laughs> another one, a boba addict. That is definitely me. I love boba so much. And then I couldn't help myself. I saw this little cat butt one. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. <laughs> so happy. Look at my butt. And then I decided to get this credit card sticker as well of Umbreon. I think it's just so adorable and so cute. Including these pins, I was also able to get some really 
pretty Genshin pins. So some of these are old. Here's another Chi Chi pin from the first store that you saw. Wheat Lovers, I believe it is. At the convention this time around, I was able to get Silver Wolf, Farina, and Layla. I thought they were the cutest out of the bunch. No Navia yet, but we will see. I'm sure she will make some. Her Hu Tao is adorable and her little ghost buddy. And this is from the same store that made Chi Chi here, this little planchette. If you don't know what that is, it's from a Ouija board, the little guiding thing. They're called planchettes, but it has these cute little ghosty goos. I couldn't help it from the last convention. And then this just looks like an oval. Look it up if you don't know what an oval is. And what else did we get? Oh yes, more Chi Chi stuff, believe it or not. They had these really cool prints at this stall and it was buy two get one free so i decided to go for this really pretty silver wolf and i wonder like i'm gonna save this and see if the va will come around if not that's okay too and then if you don't know the anime no game no life this is shiro the younger sister and the colors of her character are just so pretty in the anime, in the figurines. I wanted to get one of the figurines, but it was like $500 and I already bought an expensive figurine, but we'll get to that in a minute. So Chiro is just a little cutesy, same kind of like shine print. And then I found a Chi Chi print as well. I'm hoping the VA will come by for Chi Chi because I would love to get her signature on this cute little piece. So these are the three pieces I was able to find. They're just simple prints and I just I love them so much. Oh, so Friday night, there was this thing called a swap meet. And basically it's a flea market for um, a bunch of different items, whether if it's for like VHS tapes, CDs, old figurines, etc. I was actually able to get a Miku figurine for 20 bucks, which is normally these days around 50. And I was, I was so stoked. I haven't put her together yet, but maybe we could just do that right now. So this is Festival Miku. She's obviously used. I'm probably gonna have to clean her up a little bit just cause I'm weird like that. It, is anybody else like that? Where it's like, if you have something used, you have to like squeaky clean it. Uh, mainly pertaining towards like figurines and stuff. I don't know. She's pretty hefty, which is nice. She's looking a little, a little scuff. If you, <laughs> a little scuffed, but I've always, I've been eyeing this figurine for a long, long time, like new in box, but I just couldn't justify the price. So when Otaku and I went to the uh, swap meet, it was actually a lot of fun. Ooh, her arm is wobbly. Can this pop off? It does. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, there's some, there's some gunk in there. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. I love the festive Mikus. I've been, like I said, I've been looking for this one for so long. So I'm so excited. I was able to get her for 20 bucks. Just 20 bucks. That's like nothing. And I'm going to stick her on her stand. Oh, she's adorable. I love her so much. What a steal. 20 bucks. Uh oh. Yeah, there's, there's gunk. There's gunk. It's okay. We'll, we'll make you all pretty, Miku. Don't you worry, honey. Well, first, let me show you something that I got for one of my viewers on Twitch. So Lizzie had messaged me and was like, hey, the VA for Sebastian Michaelis is going to be at this convention I'm going to. Would you be interested in getting a signature? And I said, yes, let's do a trade. And so her favorite character from Genshin is Tartaglia. And I was able to get the VA to sign this beautiful piece for Lizzie. And I'm just, I'm so excited to get it to you, Lizzie. Oh my gosh. He looks really, really nice. Hey girl, it's your boy. Stay tartaglicious. 
<laughs> with a little whale and then Griffin's signature. I love it so much. And we have a really large purchase at the end. You'll recognize this in the <laughs> In the beginning of the video, the first vendor I found was my favorite who also made those pins and she made a Klee wallet. There is a red strap that goes to this, but I'm using it as a wallet currently and it is just so cute. And when you open the button side, you have all of these pockets for your cards. Lots of room just for everything you need. I love the little flower for your ID. That's adorable. And then there's even more room in the zippy part. I'm really picky when it comes to wallets. So the fact that this is a full size pocket for cash, you can literally fit unfolded bills in here, no problem. But so much room, so nice. And I love how they have their logo, Wheat Loaves. Wheat Loves, I've been saying it wrong, it's Wheat Loves. Super, super cute store. I'll try and find a link for their store and I'll put it down below for you guys if you're interested. I forgot that I got some, uh, some prints before we get into the signatures. We have 2B here. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Um, they had the version without the dress when she explodes, or they had the classic version. I'm a fan of the classic version because Modesty is the new sexy. And isn't she gorgeous? I, oh my God, I love it so much. And then with our friends there, it was buy two, get one free. This one's Otaku's. He's a huge Zero Two fan. Everything is covered. Don't worry, YouTube. But isn't that so cool? Zero Two is from Franks. And oh my gosh, it is, it's a brutal anime, let me tell you. But it is really, really, really good. So the first signature that Otaku and I got was Monarchs or Amalie or uh, <laughs> Lee and Lai. I don't know what name she prefers to go by but this is amalie or monarch you can find her on youtube she is in so many different animes and she was so sweet ara ara i love that i really enjoy this piece and the shattered glass hollow as pokemon lovers would call it i love it but i don't know if i'm going to get it professionally framed because repellers piece i really want to get that framed for him and you will see why in just a minute also jeans va was there and if you know anything about my twitch channel i have the curse of jean and when i met the va i told her you know i i did not like jean at all and she's like, what? And she got all sad and I said, but she grew on me. And I decided to get her signature because one, this piece is so pretty. And it says, swear by this sword, victory shall be yours. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's great. And she, you know what? She was so sweet. I think it's Stephanie Sutherland. Oh my gosh such a sweet person in real life but because i was such a jean hater for so long i decided to get her signature <laughs> and i'm glad i did so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what otaku and i got for repeller if you know anything about my twitch channel i have two mods one is otaku and the other is pokemon repeller and Repeller has been in my life for such a long time. I wanted to get him something super special. Um, there's one item that's super duper special and then a second item because he loves Yoimiya so much. Speaking of which, I think Repeller and Otaku have just arrived at my house. Um, but Repeller has done so much for me and I love him dearly. And he's a Yoimiya main over on Genshin. And the lady had the very last mouse pad of Yoimiya and I couldn't help myself. I, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, Otaku, I need to get this for Repeller. And 
he loves it. Oh my God, he loves it. He's like, I'm going to clean my office first and then I will put this here. I love how like random Heizo is back here, like uh, whatever. But I just thought she was so cute and Repeller just fell head over heels. And I'm just so glad that I was able to get this for him. It was the last one too. So Repeller, we love you so much. And I really hope you enjoy this next item because I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Before I forget, Otaku and I were at a booth and they were selling dice. I've always wanted a pair of dice, like D20s, 10s, whatever you wanna call it. Obviously, I'm not really familiar with the terms, but he's like, you know what? I'm gonna get you your first pair of dice and they're all custom made. They are not weighed. I don't really know much about it, but oh my God, look at these. You roll them and they have hollow. They're made of resin, but they are so nicely made. Thank you so much, Otaku. I love these. And then Otaku got some really fancy dice. They are amazing. Oh my God. I think they're fantastic. He is bummed though, because he, the ones he saw, they were like red, purple, blue, yellow. I thought these were adorable because they're like tarot kind of looking. You know what I mean, but God, these are just so flipping cute. I can't stand it. Repeller. This is the big item that Otaku and I searched for. In the past, I've had some of Bryce's pieces professionally framed because he signed them, but this one takes the cake. And let me tell you, it's gorgeous. This is his newest Genshin piece and it's adorable. It is Dragon Chinese New Year to celebrate the Year of the Dragon. Of course, this is very special for multiple reasons. One, he has these pieces that have Pokemon in them, right? But he has the shiny version. So you can either get the regular color Dragonair or you can get the shiny color Dragonair. Or if it's a Charmander Charizard piece, you could get a shiny Charizard, shiny uh, Charmander, etc. So normally you have to spin a wheel to get a shiny, but the fact is, is that he knows us so well that he had this prepared for us. This is also what makes it special. It's a first edition and he signed it for us as well. So Otaku and I got you this piece and I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, it's signed and it's first edition. It's very special and I want to get this framed for you because, because we love you so much and I really hope you enjoy it. Alrighty, you guys. So the last item I have is the very expensive item. I found a two. It's a legit version from Square Enix, also known as Square Soft, depending on what generation you are. And oh my gosh, I haven't even opened it yet because I wanted to open it here with you guys. Glory to mankind. And if you haven't played Nier Automata, I highly recommend it. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh my gosh, okay. Ooh, oh! Oh no! What happened? Her head. <laughs> okay, I think that was. <laughs> I think that was supposed to happen. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she has this film under her belly. They have different booties and legs, and vice versa. Ooh, this is nice. Oh my god. And it looks like they have her lance in here too. Ooh, this is so cool. Look at this piece. How could you not want this as her weapon? So that requires a straight arm and it attaches. Holy crap, that is so long. That's over a foot long, you guys. Look at this. Oh my God, the detail of the, is it the Hanya mask? And I kind of want to try out which torso 
would look better. Looks a little too risque for my taste. Because I have the 2B one in full dress. But it looks a little off to me. So maybe we'll do the scandaly clad, because it does look better. And there she is, so pretty. And I think out of the two, as much as I enjoy the sword, the spear takes the cake. 100%, 100%. So I'm trying to think, I think the sword goes in like so, something like that. She is so cool. Oh my God, I love it. Look at this spear. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, we are gonna find a special home for you, my lady. I am so happy with this purchase. Apparently the guy who I bought this from only had two copies. So I'm, needless to say, I am a happy camper today. Well, that was the Sacramento Anime Convention of 2024 in wintertime, and I hope you enjoyed it. Now, my plan is to go to the summer convention as well. There are going to be certain VAs that I am currently really excited for, but I will try and do my best to, to do a better vlog of this coming summer's convention. If you're curious what convention it is, like I said, it is called Sac Anime, and you will find it in Sacramento, California. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was actually really fun to make a vlog. Not really used to it, but it's something I'm willing to try again. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this video and what your favorite purchased item was. I'm Pokey Oracle and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>